Well, hello, and welcome to uh, My Prostate is Trying to Kill Me. This is episode 81. I'm Mark Graves, just a regular guy fighting prostate cancer, and happy to have you along for the, the ride. Uh, it's t Tuesday evening? Yes, it is. It's Tuesday evening. Uh, went today and had my, um, uh, what do you call it, tube changed. Got my new... Uh, my new tube put in, and there was some discrepancy about whether it was an 18 or a 20. I could have sworn that I had a 20 put in there, the size of it. I could have sworn I had a 20 put in there. And the nurse today was not the nurse that put the last one in, and she thought the same thing. She was, I thought you had a 20 in here. You only have an 18. I said, well, okay. Um, yeah, might as well stick with the 18 then. I'm sure at some point I had a 20. She even had it in her notes, so I have no idea what happened with that. But like I said on the video last night, the 18, well, whatever it is that's in there has been working pretty good. I uh, only wet my pants twice last month, and I actually had a great test on it tonight. Um, I went out, uh, did a bunch of stuff around here this morning. Again, did not sleep that well last night, uh, so didn't feel all that rested this morning when I got up. And then uh, my doctor's appointment this afternoon to have my tube changed. So uh, took a shower, ran down there, and then I had a bunch of errands to run. I told you about our patio cover. They got ripped apart. I had to get a replacement for that. Had to pick up some tools at a buddy of mine's uh, over in uh, Santa Ana, uh, po post hole digger and stuff to be able to put, uh, oh, that's my beautiful wife saying she's on her way home. Um, got a post hole digger. I'm going to try and get my um, flagpole put in in uh, the next couple of days, see how that works out. So hopefully, um, looks like, oh goodness, I apologize. <sighs> Running out of juice quick. And I'm looking at this, this is the first time I've tried to do this. I'm just recording straight to my computer using my, uh, my webcam. And it looks, eh. plus I've got, uh, my hair's all messed up and I've got mask beard. <laughs> Everywhere I went, I had to have a mask on today. So my uh, my beard is not looking all that coiffed and nice. But it is what it is. We do what we got to do, don't we? All right. Um, gosh, I just totally lost my train of thought. Okay, so the tube is in. Oh, uh, good test. I was out running around and uh, had a bottle of water in the truck. And I was not wearing a bag. I just had the tube with the plug in it. And I went for two and a half hours without having to use the restroom. And then... Gosh, I'm sorry, guys. This might be a, a lot of yawns in this one, so maybe get ready for the drinking game. Um, so I had to, uh, as I pulled up to Big Five, I just parked where there weren't any lights shining on the truck. And I've actually gotten pretty good at this, but I carry, I carry a urinal, like the ones you have uh, at the hospital, the little ones with the handle on it, and uh, <laughs> I've gotten pretty good. Um, usually, I like to get out of the truck and pop the two doors open because I have the extra access cab on my truck. So I can kind of make a little shelter thing there. And I just put my, you know, pull my tube out, pop the cork out and uh, do what I got to do. And then cork up and I keep hand sanitizer and Kleenex and stuff in there. And, uh, but tonight I was lucky that there was a lot of parking spaces open and not with, uh, you know, not a lot of sodium vapor lights and stuff. So I can actually, you know, put it between my legs pull the tube out, take care of business, clean up and everything, and I don't have to get out of the truck. So I was able to do that. And then I went another, oh gosh, almost two hours before um, before I got home. And then when I got home, I went in and uh, popped the cork again. And there was a good amount of, uh, of uh, fluid, uh, urine in my bladder. So I was jazzed. I wasn't dying. I wasn't getting any uh, spasms out of it. Uh, didn't leak, so two thumbs up for not peeing my pants. <laughs> so that made me made me feel good. Um, all right, so lots of running around today. I'm I'm uh, completely exhausted. I got uh, zero energy. Um, like I said, just got a text from Kelly. She's on her way home, so we're gonna uh, have some dinner and watch some TV. We just started watching uh, season four of The Queen. Um, the Queen? No, The Crown. Sorry, The Crown on Netflix. And I tell you, 
I have a hard enough time as I'm getting older, uh, understanding what they say on TV, but then, wow, throw in that English accent, and man, we sit there and look at each other. Did you get what you said? And <laughs> be like, nah, I didn't get it. I thought maybe you got it. So it is difficult to listen to. Um, not, you know, we can figure it out. It's not bad enough that I got to keep rewinding it or anything. We figure it out. But uh, I can tell I'm getting tired. My my sciences are getting screwed up and everything. Um, so, uh, gosh, I know there was something I was going to tell you about my doctor visit today, and I cannot think of what it was. Oh, that sucks. But uh, it, it actually felt good. Now, you guys know I'm not a big fan of the mask. I'm just I'm just not. But it felt good tonight to be out. I was because I went to the 99 cent store. I had to pick up some stuff over there. And man, it was cool. People were walking around with their masks on, but the Christmas music was playing. And so we were all kind of doing it with our eyes, you know, just kind of like that, you know, but you can't you can't see any of this. So you just kind of try to, hi, you know, and uh, hope you're not scaring anybody. But, uh, yeah, so it's getting me in the spirit. I didn't get the lights up today. I am going to try and do that tomorrow. I don't know what the hell's going on with my left, my left knee. Uh, it's been going on for over a week now. It's just getting more and more sore. Uh, and when I'm sitting on the, the couch uh, playing my ukulele, it really gets stiff because I sit on the edge of the couch. So I took uh, some naproxen today, which I usually take for gout, which I haven't had in, well, I don't know, three years. But... Um, Two years, but anyways, I took the naproxen, and I'm not I'm not positive if that's making a difference, but my knee does feel a little better, so I took the three this morning, and I just took one tonight because uh, it's eight hours in between. So crossing my fingers that that's going to help because <sighs> the last thing I need right now is for that knee to be screwed up, and that's the one that I messed up at work one time. I was squatting down working on a terminal, and uh, Gosh, what was it, a rose bush? Yeah. But I, I pushed my arm back to do something and I hit a rose bush and it caught me off guard and I and I was squatting down and I jumped and as I did I heard this in my knee. So I was off work for a while, uh, working on that. I didn't have to do any surgery on it. I just did uh, physical therapy and uh, stayed off it for a while and then it was okay. And it does it bugs me when I surf. Um, but I haven't had any big issues with it for a while, but for some reason the last week it's been kicking back in. I do not need that right now because tomorrow I'm going to be up on the ladder uh, surrounding the house putting up the Christmas lights. So anyways, I can see the timer from here. I'm coming up on eight minutes and that's about where I want to wrap it up tonight. Um, thank you so much for uh, for being on this journey with me. I appreciate it. If you'd like to continue on, uh, things that would help out the channel to, uh, to be easily found, um, subscriptions, click the subscribe button, click the little bell. You'll be notified when I I put a video up. I don't. I do them almost every day, usually not on the weekends. Um, give me a like; uh, those help. And then if you want to share it too, so share it to Facebook, share it to uh, MeWe, um, uh, share it to uh, uh, what's the other one? Like Parlor. Um, there's all kinds of social media places that you can spread it to, and that'll help to move us up on the algorithm and uh, make it easier for guys with uh, PC or people who love guys with PC or yeah we talked about that last night <laughs> anyways thank you for the for the prayers for the goodwill for the positive thoughts for the aloha for the shaka uh, for the juju for everything you're putting in uh, I appreciate it greatly I really do um, continued prayers for everybody out there that's uh, dealing with prostate cancer um, some good stuff coming up I'm gonna keep my lips pursed for right now because I'm trying to get together with uh, uh, Tom and um, uh, Jack and get some stuff set up but as soon as that gets nailed down I will let you know I just real quick is this camera backwards no I can read that no, I'm not sure I don't know if you'll you'll be able to read it I don't know I'm not sure how this like I said first time I've used this camera to do it so all right coming up on uh, nine minutes and 30 seconds God bless you guys for Listen to me yammer on. I appreciate it. I know Tom put up, he likes to hear me, blah, 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 but I don't know about the rest of you. So have an awesome night. It's uh, it's Tuesday, so hopefully you're having tacos, and I'll talk to you on hump day, okay? Love you.